Welcome to Digital Asset News, to get top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets, and bring them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, that's pretty interesting stuff. First up, more people are moving Bitcoin to centralized exchanges as addresses and profit hit an all-time high. And if you know anything about history, that is not a good sign. Also, the price of gold hits an all-time high. So it looks like there is good points on the traditional market and in the cryptocurrency market, and why I think that gold and Bitcoin are gonna be best friends. And finally, the cost of all the success, there is a downside. And that is that as Bitcoin surges 15% in 24 hours, 500 million in liquidations happen. You can't win them all. And finally, we'll go over the scam of the day at the very end of today's stories. But first, let's jump into what's going on with the day's market. So it's a good day. I mean, hey, it's July 28th. It's about 11 o'clock Texas time. And uh, things did not drop too precipitously. Looks like uh, Bitcoin for the week is up 20%, which is amazing, right? 0.5%. Uh, it's, it's right below 11,000. I know we touched around 11.2, 11 11.4, 11 somewhere around there. So, uh, hey, I was expecting a much bigger drop. It did drop but uh, not as much as I thought. So, hey, that's great. Ethereum still remains above 300, which is fantastic. I was uh, excited at 244, and here we are at 315. So, uh, pretty great day. Up 33 or 34% for uh, the week. Tether's Tether, XRP, eh. Uh, although, I will say this, XRP is up 16% for the week. So, uh, let's give uh, the XRP army uh, their due. Congratulations, uh, not too bad of a week. Bitcoin Cash is up massively, 30%. Cardano is up uh, again, 3.6%. After uh, not only is, is the mainnet launch uh, happening with Shelly, but there was a lot of different uh, things going on over the weekend. Programmers were looking at the code and, and the and the uh, mainnet itself and doing a lot of testing, and they actually gave it the go ahead. So everything is going along smoothly, which is uh, fantastic news for Cardano. Uh, Bitcoin up uh, or Bitcoin SV, excuse me, up 28.4%. Litecoin up 34%. Uh, I know there was an article about Grayscale doing something with uh, Litecoin, offering it to their customers, so that could be a, a big part. Binance Coin up, Crypto.com up, down a little bit. Uh, what are you going to do? And then uh, Chainlink, yeah, good to see, 6.5%. So it uh, looks like everything is up across the board. Not really too many down down slows. So uh, it looks like a pretty good day for most, except for Ample Forth. But hey, what are you going to do? They had a massive run. So um, everybody, hopefully you're in the green. Let's start off with today's big top story. So first up, more people are moving Bitcoin to centralized exchanges as addresses uh, do a profit all-time high. What's going on? Well, in the last 24 hours, Bitcoin addresses and profit have recorded an all-time high average of 26,054,215, which breaks the previous record of 26,41,525 when 2018. So that's good. So that means that there's a lot of Bitcoin addresses that are actually in profit, meaning that uh, they weren't like uh, me back in 2017 when bought massively high and then uh, had a different problem. So a lot of people out there are in the money. However, that's not good, and we're going to see why. So Glassnode also noted that the number of Bitcoin inflows to centralized exchanges has started to increase significantly after Bitcoin reached and fought to stay above yesterday's sentimental $10,000 level. So if you know, um, if you've been around cryptocurrency for any length of time, you know that uh, usually a bullish sign is when people take their money, their cryptocurrency digital assets off of these centralized exchanges and hold them on to their uh, cold wallets, like their nano ledgers. That's good because they can't sell them. They just want to you know, sit on them for a while. But the opposite is true. When I start to uh, swing everything back in the way of the exchanges, that means that they are going to, and I, I hate to use the word dump. It's not dump. They're, they're there to sell. They're there to take profits. Look, people have families. People have bills. Uh, people have things to pay. And, uh, you know, these things have to be done. And so if you're going to take profits, I got nothing against you. It's just that's what that's just what it is. So. I will say this was this was a little uh, trick from uh, Mr. B that I picked up a long time ago, and I talk about that in the um, exit strategy, which is don't use round numbers if you're going to sell. If you're going to sell at ten thousand, everybody's going to sell at ten thousand, right? If you're going to sell at fifteen, don't put the uh, limit order as fifteen thousand. Put it some wacky smaller number so you're guaranteed it. So, like for my uh, exit strategy, I'm going to sell at twenty thousand. I'm going to sell not all of it. I'm going to sell a, you know a portion of my of some of my holdings for Bitcoin, very small, 
and I'm going to sell at uh, I think it's like nineteen thousand two hundred seventy-six dollars or something, uh, something innocuous. And the reason for that is because everybody's doing the same thing. Everybody's trying to sell at ten thousand, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand. So it'll be a little bit different, and uh, be the first one to sell, and then uh, maybe you don't get uh, caught up in the rigmarole and different problems of uh, sometimes they don't get filled. So that's a little trick uh, that I've picked up. Anyhow, moving on in the article. Addison profit above 83%. This represents the biggest movement since the time of the third halving. And it states, Bitcoin inflows and decentralized exchanges have started to significantly increase. We are currently seeing the largest hourly net flow spike in over three months. So uh, if you don't think that the, the price of Bitcoin is going to go down, um, I think... And just in my personal opinion, uh, I think you might be a little mistaken. I think that it's going to go down a little bit. I think it's, uh, you know, over over time, we're going to fluctuate, obviously. We can't go up forever. And that's the problem with, with new people. So if you've been in the space for a while, you have ice in your veins. There is nothing really affects you that much, I'm sure, because you've been, you know, the big swings, you know, losing 50% in a day, 40% in a day, going up 100% a day. And it's not a big thing. So if you have any family members, friends, uh loved ones who are getting into this space right now, just sit them down and say, look, this is what's going to happen. Okay, rookie. Uh, these things are going to go up massively. They go down massively. You just have to not let it affect you. So as people come up to you and be like, hey, what's going on with this Bitcoin and cryptocurrency? Just tell them, hey, this is how it goes. So just uh, grab some bench and uh, sit back and enjoy the ride. Lastly, it states, in late June, Glassnode reported that Bitcoin addresses and profits had reached 83% from 43 during the Black Thursday in March. God, that day sucked. And this means that currently more than 83% of Bitcoin addresses have Bitcoin bought at a lower price than what they are worth right now. So it's really just repeating the same things over and over again. So I would just say um, I'm, hope, I'm hopefully optimistic uh, that Bitcoin price will go up. But I do think there's going to be some people who are going to sell and uh, the price will probably go lower uh, before it just rebounds. So uh, last part here, another development that could push Bitcoin price over the roof is a new report published by Bloomberg senior editor John Authors, in which he wrote that there's an imbalance in the gold futures market, which could potentially affect other markets. So I look at that, I was like, what's all this in? Take a look. And the article states, a mighty short squeeze may be building in gold. So an increase in demand for physical deliveries could trigger a parabolic rise and cause problems for banks. And I actually heard about this a couple months ago. People in the comments section were saying that you could not get physical gold. It was like impossible. And they were just uh, kind of dumbfounded that the price of gold was being so stagnant. But here we are, and you can't find gold anywhere. And uh, there's a problem with that. So when you have a ton of demand and the supply isn't there, what usually happens? Hmm. Things go up a lot. And uh, I think the same thing's going to happen for Bitcoin and crypto. Now, just like I said, people are going to sell because they got to pay for bills. They got to do all these things. I've been waiting for a long time. Let them sell. Just do, if you want to do what I do, I just dollar cost average. And I just sit back and I pay a little bit of money every every week or every day for some. And I slowly accumulate. And as things go up, I'm not so concerned about it. I'm like, well, you know, I got to tell you. This bull run is the first time I really felt like I don't care if it goes up to the moon or it shoots back down. I've got my positions. I'm pretty happy. I didn't, I didn't feel like I missed out, like I didn't buy enough or do enough or do everything else because I've done all the things I was supposed to do. Just dollar cost average didn't go crazy and go all in and all that nonsense. But uh, again, with this, I think with gold, uh, you're going to see a big rise. And um, I think the same thing's going to happen for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. When you have a lot of demand and the supply is kind of running out, what happens? Price goes up. And I think Bitcoin and gold are going to be attached to the hip, just like it talks about here. So this is uh, from Coindesk, Zach Vol. The price of gold reached an all-time high of 1942, extending a rally that started in 2019. This is, the, this is the strange thing, though. Gold's previous record high of 1924 was reached on, check this out, September 6th, 2011. September 6, 2011. It's been roughly a decade. I mean, not a full decade, but I mean, roughly a decade, nine years or so, uh, to give back to that all time high. Can you imagine getting back to the all time high of Bitcoin uh, to 20,000? So we, we'd have to go from 2017 to 2027 to hit 20,000. I do not think that's going to happen. If you think that's going to happen, let me know in the comment section. Maybe you know something I don't, but uh, that would be insane to think about. And that's the difference between traditional markets and uh, cryptocurrency digital assets. Uh, we don't wait that much time. 
So anyhow, it says Bitcoin, often viewed as digital gold, soared 11.4 as a style with cryptocurrency keeps pace with gold, and it's gained more than 30% in the past 24 hours. So, so again, I've, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I think the new savings account is gold, silver, Bitcoin. I think that is the is going to be the new standard. I don't think your savings account should be a ton of money uh, that's just sitting there uh, depreciating. So uh, uh, gold, silver, Bitcoin seems like a pretty pretty fair bet to me. The real question we have to think about, though, is, and in all honesty, taxes and how we have to pay for all these capital gains because it's going to be big. Just my opinion. Let me know what your, your thoughts are. Let's move on. So next up, the cost of Bitcoin surging 15% in 24 hours is $500 million in liquidation. So I am not a trader, and I don't begrudge anybody who trades because that's your thing. That's not my thing. That's your thing. And if you're in the money today, congratulations. You know, you did all the things you were supposed to do. Fantastic. But let's not forget that there are people out there that uh, just lost their shirt on uh, and pants and underwear and socks and uh, that's just how it goes in, in the trading world but uh, that's what you guys sign up for so it says according to crypto trader over 500 million worth of bitcoin shorts positions liquidated across all bitcoin derivatives platforms and the trader came up with a list of binance 126 million uh bitmex 124 million huobi 102 million okx 95 million Bybit 52 and Dairy, I've never even heard of this. Dairy Bit, I have no idea what that is. $13 million, I guess, in exchange. Another trader noted that around the same time, that nearly $740 million worth of Bitcoin short positions have been liquidated over the past two days, which adds to the $210 million worth of long positions that have bit the dust due to rapid pullbacks. So, um, yeah, if you were... And I, look, everybody who is a trader is a genius uh, when everything goes right. But when things go wrong, it's, it's hard to hear from them, you know. Um, but uh, I will say this, that's a lot of money lost. And my sarcastic question was, does Bitcoin move in the opposite direction of the contracts? Because <laughs> it seems like, especially on BitMEX, seems like when, when these shorts or longs, whatever is like, like the most, it just the exact opposite happens. And then it gets liquidated and who makes all the money? That's the question. Who makes all the money? Anyhow, states here longs are overextended. Despite the extreme strength in the price of Bitcoin, there are some that think longs are getting overextended. As reported by Bitcoin as previously, one analyst commented that Bitcoin may not yet be bullish due to the high funding rates on all futures platforms. The funding rate is the fees are the fee longs pay shorts to keep the price of the future close to that of the index and spot market. And as soon as the price has broke 10K, fundings have skyrocketed across all exchanges, and this is not a bullish sign. As of the time this article is writing, longs are paying shorts 0.1% every eight hours on BitMEX. Think about that. Every eight hours, you're paying 0.1%. Across everybody. So this doesn't sound like a lot until you realize that these markets are leveraged. And some of these markets are like 25x, 50x, 100x. Meaning one's position can be chipped away over the course of a few days. And lastly, it states more liquidations on its way as Bitcoin may rally higher. So if you are in that position of a short position, you're like, no, no, no. Uh, Bitcoin's going to go way down. And it rallies. And it rallies big. All that money's just gone, like in the blink of an eye. And that's why I don't trade, because I don't have the stomach for it. I know uh, people say, well, I like to trade. That's good. Then trade. Have fun. I just, I, like people, will, they'll always say me, you know, tell me, well, you should know these things and you should try to trade and da, da, da. I don't want to trade. I don't have the stomach for it. I got a lot of other things going on. And I just like the, I like to sit back and just see all the fruits of the labor of just being patient. It's like Marcus Aurelius and being stoic. You can just sit back and just have a stone face and just go, this is what I'm going to do. This is the plan. And I'm going to follow through with the plan. And um, sometimes, you know, the plan works. And that's uh, really about it. So uh, that's it for those stories. I do have an interesting story at the, the very end. This is going to be a shorter video. Finally under 20 minutes, right? But this was from uh, Yahoo Finance. And uh, with the different helicopter money coming in, and we've seen reports that that's going to happen uh, in the United States. I don't know about Canada or Mexico or Europe or Australia, but in the US, there's going to be another round of stimulus coming about. And it looks like it's going to be the same thing uh, per Steve Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary. Looks like 1200 bucks for everybody. Um, unemployment um, benefits may actually be slashed. And the PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program, right, probably be the same thing, maybe 
maybe a little bit less. But here's the thing about just doing, just do the right thing and um, you won't get in trouble. And it states here, he got $4 million in COVID-19 relief loans. This is from the PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program. He's a business owner. And what he do? He bought a Lambo. What a moron. So one of the things David Hines bought when he got uh, $4 million in COVID-19 relief from the federal government for his supposedly ailing South Florida moving business was a super luxury Lambo uh, Huracan Evo. I don't know if anybody knows what that is. Um, I'll never, never get one, authorities say. And then it just pretty much goes into like what this guy spent on and it was just, just ridiculous. So uh, if you want a Lambo, go ahead and grab that, but uh, just wait till after the parabolic bull run. <laughs> don't try to take the money from the government because the government always wins. That's really what it comes down to. All right, so that's it for today. If you got a time, stick around with me. I want to go over Scam of the Day. There's actually some good news, and uh, we'll go over what's going on. So if you're not familiar with the Scam of the Day, in the description of every one of my videos, there's going to be a link. It's going to look like this. And when you click on that link, it's going to take you to this handy-dandy spreadsheet called Scam of the Day. And we started this uh, because I was sick of people getting screwed over. And uh, I just added in, there's a good story on Medium.com uh, from Whale Alert, which if you're familiar with Twitter, it it's a... It's an API and it tracks all these different uh, things as far as like the movement of massive amounts of cryptocurrency. And they're also able to track all the scammers. And they said that, hey, uh, these YouTube scams seem kind of, uh, you know, not too uh, innocuous and there's just a blowover and nothing big. But they've stolen uh, over 130000 per day. And uh, I think it's over, over like $270 million, something crazy in just 2020, not 200, no, I think it's like 27 million, but you have to read the story. It's just awful. So if people say, well, how would people fall for that? But you have to understand, uh, you've been in this game a long time and you've seen things that a lot of people haven't seen. So when the new people come in, they're like, well, I don't know what this airdrop is. Maybe this is an airdrop because it sounds like Elon Musk is giving away free stuff. Maybe that's what these people are talking. I have no idea. Maybe that's an airdrop and they just lose their money. So what do we try to do? Well, two things actually. First, we wait for uh, uh, the Ripple <laughs> the Ripple um, lawsuit, which is going on against YouTube, and also the new one with Steve Wozniak, or Woz, the co-founder of Apple, his new lawsuit. We wait for that to get uh, ponied up and see what YouTube's going to do because they're uh, on the hook for all the scams. Yeah, not what we can do about that, but what we can do is we can uh, downvote and report these scams, and we can I can make everybody aware of what a scam is. So first things first, the latest scam. Uh, let's take a click. Let's take a look. And this is what we want to see. Uh, this video has been removed for violating YouTube's community guidelines. So if you'll notice here, that uh, for the date found, you're gonna see a lot of date founds. But on the right side, date removed. That's when they all got taken down. So thanks everybody who's done uh, what I asked, which was just downvote and report. And uh, there's always, and I think the reason why, why this one was taken down is because it was used as an advertisement. But there's one which I don't know if this one's still up. It probably is, and sure as yeah, it is. So this Melonhead, he's got a channel with whopping two subscribers, but he's got a lot of views, 2,600 views. And I can guarantee that out of 2,600 views, he scammed somebody out of some money. So let's get him. So what we're looking for is, first of all, don't take my advice because I'm just some guy, right? You gotta do your own research. Is this a scam? Well, Digital Asset News said it is, but who's that guy? Uh, Extreme Rapid Payments uh, says, yes, I'm kind of FBI, who's gonna fall for this? So there's a lot of hate. Maybe these people are just haters, right? Um, maybe Kay Newman Newman is just a hater and she hates uh, guys with enormous heads. I don't know. But for, for what we're looking at here is that uh, that is just one signal. What we really want to look at is what I call an asymmetrical giveaway. So what does that look like? So in the video itself, which was very slick, I must say, is uh, it says, hey, to verify your payment address, just send 1,000 to 10,000 XRP and I'm gonna send you 10,000, 100,000 back. And he actually goes through the whole process and then he's, then it looks like his wallet's got like, you know, 100,000 XRP. He's like, woo, that's great. But that's stupid because no one does that. Um, if you don't think so, if you need hard proof, reach out to Ripple, go to their official website, send them an email, it takes about 24 hours to get back and say, hey, uh, are you guys doing uh, a free giveaway? Because there's this uh, monstrous melon guy that is doing this giveaway. 
Uh, is that true? No. If you think that Microsoft is giving away free money, go to Microsoft and say, hey, I saw Bill Gates. Is he giving away free money? No. If you think Binance, if you think Coinbase, think anything, just go to the official website just to prove it. Uh, and that's it. So the biggest advice I can give you is treat everything as a scam unless proven otherwise, and you'll be a lot happier. So let's just say this is a scam. All right. So what do we do? We're going to downvote it. Like I've already done. Click on these three dots. I'm going to report. And we're going to say this is spam or misleading. We're going to choose one. It is a scam or fraud. We're going to click next. We're going to say Ripple does not give away free coins. Uh, unless it's to their co-founder. Just kidding. And uh, that's it. And you say this is a scam. This is a scam. And you're going to report. And that's all you got to do. So just to figure out, just to click on it and actually downvote and click on it probably takes about 30 seconds and that's all i could ask for so if you do that i'd be much appreciated and that is it for today's video so if you like those types of videos there's gonna be two more that's gonna pop up on your left and right not sure because youtube is responsible for that algorithm i have nothing to do with that but uh same type of thing uh, learn about uh, crypto and digital assets and uh, that's all for today so thanks for watching really appreciate it see you on the next one